All right, let's get started. Anyway, guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing well and doing well myself. Anyways, today what we're going to be talking about is a studio strobe light, or to be specific, it's a Aerodox AD's 400 Pro, and it is a studio strobe light. And you can see how small it is in my hand right now. Anyways, so this this light is actually created by Godox themselves, and is accredited mainly for prosumers and professionals alike. And I would say that it's really great because the price point is priced around two thousand ringgit mark, and for a four hundred watt strobe light, it's a pretty pretty great price, just because it's also portable, small, and you can very convenient. Anyways, there are a lot of like very specific videos out there that talk about specific specification of this product. I won't be talking as in depth as they do. Uh, Instead, I will just be talking about my experience and a couple of highlights about this product itself. All right, first things first, this is a, a portable strobe light, which means it is battery powered. And if I can just get this battery out, this is the battery. It's pretty small. You can see it's about the size of my palm of my hand. And it's really, really powerful because for my testing, I can shoot about 700 photos from this uh, sing from a single charge. Of course, it's at various power levels, so it really depends on how how much you guys use i am um, of course if you do shoot it at full power all the time it probably will go down quite a bit however i don't recommend you shooting at full power all the time because of obvious reasons you know you're gonna burn out the uh the lamp or the uh the light itself so don't shoot at full power all the time you can definitely do it but don't do it too often so i would say that if you have any um i would say that with experience with portable products getting 700 shots of this light itself is pretty great because it, it basically does everything i need and shoot an entire event with it for 700 shots is pretty much enough for me to cover so i would say for such a small battery it's really great and it's pretty portable size really great for battery life moving on we have the size itself as you can probably see by now this light is freakishly small and I mean, come on, this is so small. It really doesn't even make sense. Just, it's the size of my head. I have a pretty big head, so yeah. Anyways, uh, the size is around 220 millimeters by 128 millimeters. This is, of course, the full configuration. You have the ball, the battery, everything. So that's about the size. And it only weighs around 2.1 kilograms, which is pretty, very lightweight because you don't want, you don't need to carry an external power pack because I know some higher ends one. I think an 80. I think the 800 watts or the 1200 watts require a power pack, but this doesn't. So it's pretty small, very convenient, and pretty lightweight. And the best of all, I can actually fit it at the bottom of my of my uh, my Allure Pro AW452. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, name model of my bag. So which is great. I recommend you guys to put it at the bottom of the bag just to make it bottom heavy, so it doesn't uh, rattle around too much and damage any other. Uh, equipment that you might have in your bag so kudos for that now moving on we have of course the most important part which is probably what you guys been wondering about which is the power itself of course it is a 400 watt uh, 400 watt st uh, strobe and you might be looking at the ad 600 as well especially the ad 600 pro because they look quite similar but i believe the ad 600 pro is slightly larger with about the same battery capacity and the biggest difference i was uh, the biggest reason why i would get the 400 over the 600 is just because of the power difference from uh viewing other videos while i was doing my research i realized that the power uh difference is only like one third of increase again this is from other people's testing i don't have one personally and i i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything just because i have nothing to compare it to i do have an, another 600 unit 600 watt light but that is not the uh, pro series and it's not a portable type so i don't really mind it and of course the if i believe correctly the ad 600 pro which is around i think 2006 to 2800 ringgit it, it is a substantial increase in price in my opinion so generally why i get the 400 pro instead because the additional money i could use it to buy accessories and stuff for the light itself because remember even if you have the light itself you gotta need accessories to pair with it to work, make it work um to its best performance in my personal opinion all right moving on we also have to talk about several minute features that in my opinion makes this light a great buy one of it is basically the refresh time it's an extremely fast refresh time from around 0.1 to one second i don't really realize any um delay in my shots i generally can continuously fire quite frequently of course again i don't recommend anyone to do that but if you need it it's there for you okay 
So refresh time, amazing. Of course, another minute feature that I realized that I don't really use on the light itself, but it helps when you're in a pinch, which is the ETTL function. If you guys don't know what ETTL is, I'll put it down below right here. Uh, that's ETTL. And it's basically will auto analyze the surroundings and adjust the light automatically without you having to manually adjust the power of the light itself. So there's one thing that I would say that's pretty useful and pretty good to have, especially at that price point, because you want ETTL, it probably have to pay more most of the time anyways. So yeah. Now the last, then last my new feature, I would say that I don't recommend this to use it. However, it is there, which is that the modeling lamp itself can double as a video light. Because number one, it's white, uh, it's daylight uh, modeling light. So it's good to be using for video. However, it's not really powerful. I believe it's around 30 watts or something. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. So it's pretty good and it helps out when you're in a pinch like me. Sometimes I don't want to set up my full light and deal with all the cables. I just wanted some video, some shots nice and quick. So I would just snap the uh, 8400 Pro on, turn on the modeling lamp to maybe around 98% because you have to understand that you don't want them to put it 100% all the time to burn to avoid burning out. So I would generally do that and get my shot and done. So it's a, I would say it doubles as a video like, depends on how you use it, all right? So yeah, moving on. Now every device, no matter how good their design and how well they're priced at, there's definitely gotta have some cons. And there is definitely a huge con for some people. It might be a huge con for some people when it comes to 8400 Pro, which is the fan noise. It is loud. Especially, it will turn on if you turn on the modeling lamp about 50%, if I remember correctly. However, you know, I could be wrong. Again, I'm, I've am i used this light in very certain specific testing scenarios of mine. I generally don't really get into that too much because, again, I just want to share with you my shooting experience. So the fan noise is super loud. And it gets annoying if you shoot, are shooting babies or you need to shoot in a quiet environment whereby you don't want to disturb people. The fan noise might be a problem for you, especially when it comes to the last feature I talked about and you want to use it as a video light. You definitely have to think about that because it will definitely mess with you quite a bit. I can guarantee that because I've tried it before. It definitely, it, the noise is definitely visible to the ear. So keep that in mind. All right, so that's about it from me. I know it's a pretty short video, because one, there is so, this light has been coming out for quite a while now. And I just wanted to share with you guys my experience of after testing and using it so far, how does it hold up? I would say that this is definitely a good buy if you're looking for a portable stu studio light. Studio stroke, sorry, studio light stroke. I need to really, you know, refocus my head because I've been using the word studio light for so long. But yeah, it's definitely a great buy just because of how small it is, how portable it is, and how powerful it is. It's just, a all, it's just a great all-rounder in my opinion. So a 400 watt, and of course, it does come with its own carrying case as well. So there's something that is a hard carrying case. I believe the 8600 Pro also comes with one, I'm not sure. But in my personal opinion, if you're gonna get all the additional accessories that comes together with this light, you probably would amount to much more if you go cheaper, of course. Again, depends on to each their own. All right, so overall, this definitely has my stamp of approval. Get it if you need it. And if you want it, you can definitely put it in your consideration list. Especially now it's coming New Year's, you guys wanna buy some gift for yourself? Definitely something to consider about. Anyways, um, I would say that's it about from me. If you guys got any questions, you guys wanna chat about anything, do drop it down in the comment below and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. And of course, like always, if you guys like this video, go give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and of course, hit the notification bell button. It's CJ and I'll see you guys next video. Ciao.